up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on the 04 Duramax diesel. Uh, we're going to be addressing the rust issues on it. Uh, I'm going to start by taking the bed off so we can get access to the rusty cab corners. As you can see, it's starting to come through and the rockers are completely gone. I'm going to have to fix the bottom of this door also. But the rest of the doors are pretty solid, so I lucked out there. So one door, a couple rocker panels, cab corners, and that's about it. So let's get into it. All right, you guys, I saved you a lot of dirty work that I skipped. Uh, I just figured you guys didn't need to see the nasty, nasty stuff that I had to do to the truck, which we now have solid cab corners, new rocker panels, and I went around and feathered out all the chips and scratches and spot treated it with primer surfacer. We got everything in 320 grit, so we are ready to lay down the sealer, the base coat, and then the clear coat. As you guys can see, I got it all taped off. Anything that I care about getting overspray on. And see the new rockers and cab corners nice and solid everything was replaced with new sheet metal went around and smoothed the jams get in here and spray what we got to spray so we're almost there just got to lay down this paint and throw it back together and she'll be smooth and pretty again. Got a brand new tailgate, no more rot. So the truck is pretty much rust free now. The body has absolutely zero rust showing now. This is exactly what I wanted. Got a brand new gas filler door from Florida. I got lucky and it actually came with the same paint coat on it as my truck but I still wanted to paint it so it would match but it still probably wouldn't match if I didn't paint it. See the cab corner, rocker, all brand new. Door got repaired in here, no more rust. So next step I'm going to start blowing base coat on it, sealer then base coat. So. Do that. All right, well, we got the sealer sprayed on, and next we'll go on to spraying the base coat. Guys, I always recommend using a sealer because it locks down your primer work and any kind of contaminants that could react with your base coat, which I learned that the hard way. But always use a sealer, and your stuff will always come out nice and clean with no reaction problem. So, next we'll go into putting the base coat on. All right, well, we got the base coat shot. This is just the base, no clear coat yet. Came out really clean and nice. Looks like it's gonna match well. Definitely pleased with the color match and how this shop line paint goes down. Silver is definitely a hard color to spray too. You gotta make sure you really dust it on. You cannot do close quarter sprays with it. You will see the tire stripes in it. Lines. Anybody that sprayed silver knows how easy it is to do that. This is just the base coat. I gotta do the clear coat next. I'll give you guys another shot of it. All right, well, we got the clear coat on. Came out really nice. I used the PPG DC 3000 again. I'm getting really fond of this clear. It's really good stuff lays out really nice. I just love how it flows out like glass. There's like zero texture 
to it. So we've got all the base sprayed, all the clear, jammed out. Came out really, really nice. Kind of hard to see on camera, but I guess you can see my reflection in it. It's pretty much flawless. Wonderful. Totally pleased with it. Sorry about the fan noise. Got to keep the exhaust going. Yeah, no more rust bucket. All the rust is gone. It's nice silver birch clear coat. Look at that, it looks fabulous. It flows out and it's really, really well. If you guys are looking for a good clear coat, PPG DC 3000 is awesome stuff. It sits on there like glass. So tomorrow I'll get it all unwrapped and put back together and I'll give you guys a shot of it put back together and assembled. The truck really came out nice. I really don't want to go running up and down these nasty Michigan roads in the winter. That's going to suck. Alright, well. We'll get it all unwrapped and put back together and I'll give you guys another shot of it. Alright, well we finally got it all back together. Looks really good. I'm pleased with it, especially for it just being a daily driver. I gotta still put on the tailgate cap on here. I gotta find some plastic clips that go in there. But that's about it. I got everything else working. New tail lights, new tailgate, fresh paint. Rockers, cab corners. Truck definitely has a new lease on life now. Yeah, I'm not so embarrassed to drive it. Gigantic rust holes in it. Definitely helped the look of this truck. The color match on the paint just is spot on. All fresh. No more rust. The Duramax is looking pretty again. Actually looks like something. Alright you guys, I got it all back together. It's detailed, it's cleaned up, it's looking really good. Definitely pleased with the outcome. Just looks real sharp and clean now. No more rust. You guys have seen before, the rockers were super rough on this truck, so everything got replaced. Repainted, cleaned up. The gas door was just rotten before. Found one in Florida and replaced it. Got it painted so it matches. And the paint match came out really well. I'm definitely happy with that. Cleaned up all underneath. Got it all painted. Nice and black and solid. Tires and wheels still look pretty good. 
Yeah, it's a nice clean truck now. New tail lights, new tailgate. No rust. All right, yeah, so you, you guys let me know what you think about this build in the comments. Um, you know how rough it was when I first got it. You guys saw it from day one. It's all cleaned up, painted, lifted, tires and wheels, exhaust. A little bit of mods, not too much. So let me know what you think about it. And uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to follow along on this build and my other builds. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.